What is up you guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope you're having an amazing day today. In this YouTube video, I am gonna be talking about my experience not having caffeine for 30 days. Uh, this was a challenge that uh, not only myself, but also my clients committed to inside of uh, our Facebook group community. In my coaching program, we have a, like a lit, a lit ass Facebook group community where we share wins, where like we motivate each other and everything. So. We have monthly challenges and this was one of them. I've been a coffee addict since I was like 14 years old. I don't know about you guys, but please comment down below how much caffeine you guys have in a day. One cup of coffee has usually about 100 to 150 milligrams of caffeine in it. So just think about like how many cups of coffee you have or if you have pre-workout, if you don't. Uh, pre-workout typically has like anywhere from like 50 milligrams to like 400 milligrams per, per scoop. So it kind of depends. Um, but that being said, uh, since I've been having coffee since I was like 14, uh, this last year got pretty bad with prep and usually on prep I have upwards of like 1,000 milligrams of caffeine a day, which is absolutely terrible for you. <laughs> uh, it increases your cortisol levels, it makes you super stressed. You might be okay for a bit, but like usually not that long. Uh, the daily like recommended amount just for like the general population is around don't get me wrong, I think it's 450 milligrams a day. And then if you were to go above that threshold, that's where it can affect your sleep. You can become more anxious, you can become more stressed out, your cortisol levels increase, and overall it can just have more negative side effects rather than positive. What were the effects of having no caffeine for 30 days? Well, I'll break it down for you. For the first week, I had withdrawals. So there was a huge like pull and I was having major headaches for the very first week of having no caffeine. And then at the second week, I still kind of had caffeine uh, withdrawals, uh, but it wasn't as drastic as like the first week, which was funny because like during November, I was up, I was having upwards of a, um, upwards of a gram of caffeine every single day, and then I cut it down a little bit to like 300 to 400 milligrams for like the couple months after that. So I wasn't having too much, but even just cutting out like 300 milligrams of caffeine a day, I still have withdrawals, guys. You have to think about it. Like it's something that you have that most of us have every single day. And you just, your brain, it just becomes accustomed to it. Um, and your body becomes accustomed to this, um, to this uh, substance and this drug, basically. So, and this stimulant, it's a stimulant by the end of the day. So, anyhow. Then the third week, it got a little bit better. I started to feel more clear-headed. I uh, started to have like less anxiety throughout the day, and I became less anxious. The fourth week, it felt um, a lot better. I just became really accustomed to it, um, and then now we're here. So it's been a great like journey doing like no caffeine for 30 days. Um, and honestly, I actually prefer it. I'm not gonna lie, like. Just taking like just taking care of my nutrition, eating good food, making sure I'm getting enough nutrients in, getting enough uh, micronutrients in through fruit, um, and like and just good food like that. It helps you and just getting your water. It helps you have the energy that you need, and it feels good not to ha like rely on something and to have the willpower to say like, hey, like I'm not gonna touch this for 30 days and then not touch it and follow through with it is it's, it's super empowering and it helps you build a lot of resilience and discipline so that's why we did this challenge and I challenge you to do this challenge as well um, now am I gonna have caffeine again yeah I'm definitely gonna have caffeine but I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna have it a lot less <laughs> so I think maybe only like a couple times a week to be honest with you I just don't really want to wake up and like have the need to have caffeine. I'd rather just like focus on my recovery, make sure I get good sleep, um, eat well and stay hydrated. And that's all you really need. But if I end up needing it again or just wanting like a little bit of it, I might have like a cup a day, I think at the most. Um, but I'm gonna shoot for like at least a couple times a week. It feels good not to have it. Um, if you guys didn't know, like caffeine does have a half-life. So if you were to have um, caffeine in the morning, let's just say you had a cup of coffee, 120 milligrams of caffeine. The other 50 to 60 ish milligrams would still be digesting like through the other half of your day. So it can affect your sleep, it can make you more stressed, it can make you anxious. Um, and if you've been stuck on having caffeine for a while, I would suggest trying this challenge out just for a little bit 
and then you can always get back to it, right? That was my experience having no caffeine for 30 days. Um, some of you might think that it's absolutely crazy. I think it's fun to challenge yourself um, just to see how far you can push yourself. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be all. So I uh, hope you guys had an amazing day and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next YouTube video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and make sure you subscribe. You guys, let me know in the comment section how much caffeine you think that you have a day. Do you have like zero? Do you have like two cups of coffee, three cups of coffee? Do you have like pre-workout too? Just try to like really think about it for a second. I wanna like, I wanna know how much caffeine you have every single day. So uh, go and comment, um, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Much love and peace out.